At the USC Lust Center, we have been doing a study looking at the evolution of people's incomes and the rents that they've been paying over the past 22 years using data from the Census and from the American Community Survey. And we have data on 239 metropolitan areas from around the country. And what we're finding is that in about 90% of them, uh, incomes among renters at the 40th percentile of the income distribution has fallen. Um, and that's in real terms. That's in inflation-adjusted terms. While similarly, in about 90% of MSAs, rents have risen. Uh, so you put these two things together and you have that people are paying a higher share of their income in rents than they ever have before. Um, if you look at people, again, at the 40th percentile of renter income, so sort of in the middle of the income distribution, there are very few cities in the U.S. where you are not forced to spend at least a third of your income on rent. There's nothing available for less than that. It's not that you're choosing to spend a lot on housing because you like housing. It's that there is nothing available. And what that means is people's choice is limited. So if you live in a place like Los Angeles, you might think to yourself, wow, the rents are really high here. I'm going to move to a place where rents are low. But most of the places where the rents are low, incomes are a lot lower than they are in Los Angeles. So for example, St. Louis has very low rents compared to LA, but incomes are also much lower than they are in LA. So there's an affordability problem nearly everywhere in the United States. At the same time, we expect that demand for rental housing is going to continue to remain strong um, for the simple reason that people aren't getting married. Uh, and generally, until people get married, they stay renters. Uh, in fact, it's a very strong relationship. People get married five years later, they become homeowners. Well, if people are postponing marriage, it means that they're going to postpone being homeowners, which means we'll continue to see demand in the rental sector. So it's hard to see where the let-up is going to come from um, in terms of these high rent increases.